<laughs> yeah, it is a weird looking chart, and Brand's gonna join us right now. What's going on, Brand? How you doing, brother? Hey, what's up, man? Sorry about that earlier. I got this uh, this new mouse set, and I shouldn't have tried to, you know, start <laughs> it for the it first time on the live stream. I should have just done it afterwards. <laughs> no worries. Gonna you might as well do it on our stream, because I right. think we're just kind of throwing us ourselves to the dogs at this point. <laughs> no worries, man. It's all good. We're just over here having a good chat. Uh, right now, <clears throat> we're looking at the T-share, and uh, the T-share as a value of Ethereum and Bitcoin chart. Um, and basically, uh, the T-shares are 12% roundabouts versus uh, Ethereum, and the T-share is a 44 percentage points or 44 hundredths of a percentage point of uh, Bitcoin. And I was just saying how it's kind of neat that the T-shares are not losing value to Bitcoin, but they're maintaining value with Bitcoin because we just have basically a new floor. And I don't know if people can tell, but there is a positive slope in that floor. And I think that's kind of important to note because a positive slope on a coil of this magnitude typically spells impending uh, outbreak. Like huge, or, right? Like that's like on, that's not like normal, right? Or in traditional no. markets to see that kind no. of an a upward angle like that? No, it's not. Even on and, the ETH chart, we're still up. Yeah, and that's the funny thing. Typically, when you see, and <clears throat> and I'd like to just highlight um, that what you saw at the beginning was essentially that, right? Like if you look at the beginning, where the hell is my thing? If you look at the beginning of um, the Ethereum or the T-share ETH versus T-share Bitcoin charts, like this first half, right, before it actually broke out and set a new floor, what it was doing was just ratcheting up the whole time. And then boom, right? Isn't that weird how this kind of like repeats? It's, it, seems to the, it seems to me that this thing is just going to repeat itself every cycle. And just like fractals, you know? It's right. Like, and even like the yellow right there, you can see it's kind of... Uh, you know, every time when people, the sentiment like in the, in the chat or like the charts gets kind of like winding up like that, then it usually, to your point, is poised for a breakout. So, yeah, because the funny thing is that it always seems like it's not going to. Mm -hmm. That's the funny thing. It always seems like it's not going to. And, and, that's a, and that's the funny thing, because even Bitcoin looked like it wasn't going to a couple of days ago, but it just keeps going sideways. Right. But you but here's the thing. Like I said earlier, you just have it's not it's not so much to turn bearish. It's just so much to be aware of what could happen because of the sentiment flags. Right. You always have to do a sentiment check. And right now, sentiment check is extreme. It's just crazy. I mean, when you got people like Lindsay Lohan pitching shit. You, you wouldn't work. mind. We could bring up the fear and greed index on Bitcoin. Quick oh, yeah, yeah, quick yeah, quick. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. And if, if once we get there, I'll I'll mention that we have reclaimed that ninety two level, and the last time we got up here was the run up from twenty to thirty k plus, and we just yeah. kind of just stayed up here. And all this is really saying is, you know, people are well. It's until we create. So if you consider that we're not near the end of the bull market yet, there's right. still. This is going to go Maybe sideways for a longer. considerable amount of time. Yeah, oh, go yeah. like three months. Go three months. Go three months. Really? Yeah. Look at that. We just reclaimed that. And look how long we were doing it last time. Right. Well, I mean, it's interesting that we were up there for so long, for so long. Well, it's only happened five other times in Bitcoin yeah. where we held that for so long. Huh. Very interesting. Let me pull up a oh. longer term chart. Let's do a year. Let's just see what it looks like over the last year. Huh. Well, this is actually in line with the price. Yeah, it is. It's got a lot to do with the price because the mm -hmm. price is what interests people. Well, right. Of course. Of course. No matter what like, they say. So if the thing keeps <laughs> going up, like it, that's the thing is like we haven't even hit mania phase for this bull run yet. You know, that's We're the funny just thing. starting to get all kinds <clears throat> of pop off like fireworks randomly. Yeah. We haven't even got to like complete people are chucking and aping into everything possible. Like that's right. That's coming. <laughs> yeah, that's the shit coming. isn't flying at the walls just yet. <laughs> well, and, and that's what you have every market cycle, right? You know, you got people that, that held the bag, and then you got a new awareness of people that makes generally, like, that market a little bit bigger. So uh, I've only been through, like, one market cycle from, like, early 2017 and then held all the way. But I've noticed that it seems that every single market cycle there's, you know, different people that weren't uh, in the last one. 
And, yeah. Uh, and also, <laughs> like companies now, they're uh, through like Cameo and things like this. They're they're paying. Uh, you know, maybe the guy of uh, Justin's son, the guy of Tron, maybe he's paying some of the cameos for, you know, these uh, Lindsay Lohan and this Doge stuff. Like, you know, wouldn't be surprising if, if um, you know, people were just, you know, paying for the marketing and whatnot, too. Yeah, well, it's not illegal, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think right? that's just more fuel for Bitcoin to rally. Like, so right. then all that, all those money flows will come back into Bitcoin and it's going to push Bitcoin price over 100K. Because at some point, it's everything's going to be losing valuation to Bitcoin again, and that'll be that'll mark the third phase in the way in the next wave up into the final stages of the blow off top. But you'll be in it. But there's an indicator you can actually go to to see that happening real time, and you'll have a clear signal when to exit the market. If you're in any, if you're in hacks, you're safe, right? Because I actually, well, it'll be fun to see how it acts in the next bear market, oh, and yeah, I believe be that amazing. it'll become a hedge. But that's just a thesis at this point. We don't know for sure. Yeah. But what I can tell you for sure is that if you are exposed to other coins, that if you look at the Pi Cycle top indicator, which I will send you privately here, you can pull it up. If you look at that, it'll show you a cool little, it'll show you the 350 daily moving average against the 111 daily moving average. And <laughs> that was a pretty specific number. Is it because of the prom yeah. numbers? What's up with that? Uh, <laughs> All I can tell you is that the strategy has played out every time so far. So let me, uh, I want to go do some magic here to get that. To actually he, go to lookintobitcoin.com. Go to that. And he, and he doesn't answer the questions, folks. <laughs> Got to deflect, man. <laughs> Let's see. Where is my crypto crap? All right. So, the, so in answer to your question, it uses the 111 day moving average. And a newly created multiple of the 350 day moving average, which is the 350 daily moving average times two. Mm, got it. Says a multiple. Got it. Says it says that it's been effective in picking out the timing of the market cycle highs to within three days. That's not bad. It is also interesting to note that 350 divided by 111 is 3.153, which is very close to pi. Yep, that's what I thought of as soon as you said it. Because it's sure it it the like... closest we can get to pi when dividing 350 by another whole number. So if you want to know, there's your answer. And Boom. so on this chart here, if you uh, if you look back and you see where the yellow line and the green lines go back to the beginning of the chart where they cross in the in the uh, the 111, which is the yellow line, crosses over the green line, which is the mm -hmm. 350. That is an indicator that we're reaching a market top. Right. So the way you'd know to exit is when the body of the next candle closes below, below that one bar, the 350, I believe that would start a bear market. And then the only exception is that first impulsive move in 2013, it's, it did another leg up, which is where I think we could basically be headed today mm -hmm. where we have a nice 70% pullback at like, I don't know, hundred K or 80 K. And then we and then we do another quick rally up just to it, what it's going to do is it's going to shake out everyone, wreck all coins, and then they're going to they're going <laughs> to get regain Bitcoin valuation in 150 K plus. Right. But if you go back through here and you look every time, July of 13, March of 2014, November of 2017, when they cross and the thing closes below, that starts a three year bear market. Yeah, sure does. So you'll know. Look at go to modern time. Well, they're they're starting to they're starting to come close to each other, but as long as price keeps overperforming to the upside, are well, you seeing this modern time? Man. I don't see that. Oh, I just meant like if you zoom into the chart, like within the last oh. three months, and you go on to like yeah, right there. Look at that bad boy. Zoom in on that bad boy. Check this thing out. So like it's starting to they're starting to to converge, but as long as price keeps moving up, the green line is going to out or the uh, no as price moves up faster. The quicker it will over the 111 will move over the 350, which, yeah, will, yeah. which will signal phase three of the bull market. So we haven't even hit mania. We're not even close to hitting mania. Yeah, we're not. This thing has to go to 80 or 90k before we can even consider us. Yeah, um, so we're definitely going to hit 100k after all, and this before we actually stop moving up. Right. So I think, like, I think you know what's the problem is we are more hex, brain, we are brainwashed <laughs> into thinking the dollar has value because we were raised uh, with it and we're me. exiting a system. <laughs> well, I mean, what me. I mean by that is, like, I know what you mean. I'm joking. Well, <laughs> for the people that are listening, think of it like this. No, you're right. You're right. 
You're 100 correct. Think of it like this: before we started this to conversation tonight, and I jumped on stream, you said that you were unsure of sentiment. Well, I'm showing you on the sentiment chart on the current fear and greed that we're, but we just reclaimed the 92 mm -hmm. level. We just and we've held above again. it for all time highs. Yep. We just like we're just getting time. started again. From yeah, November to January. So we're yep. doing another one of those, most likely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Which we're means gonna, we're dollar valuations are irrelevant. Yep. Which is where we lead into hex. Is like what hex will be possible of achieving and gains is beyond our wildest dreams. Yep. I really think so. And I can explain why in a little bit because once we get the t shirts, it's gonna be crazy. Totally. Like, yeah. Because look at the way that, like hex is placed. Uh, you're actually the first person that kind of introduced me to that because I, I wasn't too sure that that the what the first 500 something days of Bitcoin was just flat. Oh so right, yeah, Bitcoin a lot of people don't know that. When mm -hmm. I saw that chart, I was like, hmm, you know, this is interesting. And then when you said Bitcoin was a flat line, it was like, oh okay, like I didn't know that part of the history. Yeah, a lot of and, people don't uh, know that. <laughs> it, it's cool the way that like uh, the way that Hex is set up right now in the market i mean richard was there for when bitcoin exactly. got its logo when you know when they're you know, going exactly. on the color in hex we've got the logo we've got the community everything is kind of like i mean and getting better dude it's so crazy right you you drop all of those fact bombs right richard was there at the beginning mm -hmm. people forget that right he was the one that saw all of the things that were done wrong. People forget that. There's there's so much value packed in those two statements that the fact that anybody calls it a scam is hilarious. <laughs> it's just ignorance. It's, it's, yeah, well, clearly. Ignorance, you know, it's, it's, right. it's either ignorance or just pure uh, 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 misinformation, right? Or, or mm -hmm. deceitfulness. True, True man. Right? Because it's just crazy. It really is crazy. It makes zero sense, bro. Zero. There's plenty of those people out there too that that yeah, to your point, you know, either misinformation or disinformation or just ignorance, and and it's really harmful to the to the people that that don't do their research because at the end of the day, you really should be looking into what you're doing. And you see some of these like influence influencers at the beginning in December of 2019 when when Hex came out, and they're like going through the website and they're like, oh, you know, Hex says it's designed to do 10,000 X. And it's like, yeah, it says it's designed, but it doesn't say anything about any guarantees or any of Correct. that. Like, they don't look into the specific words that you talked about. Like when you say that you're very intentional uh, about the words that you say, uh, Richard, I think is the same way too. And he never said like will, but said design. So there's a difference. Yo, every time he talks about X, he's like, no promises, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> right like he let you know <laughs> like i'm not making any promises but this is what i think is gonna do because this is how i designed it to work whether it happens or not remains to be seen but so far so good and you look at the share rate like if you go to graph let's X go back rocks and yeah let's go check some hex shit out let's go <sighs> Got our own share rate chart here, motherfuckers. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one's good. So we actually got a new high in the T share rate with respect to, uh, which is interesting, with respect to uh, the T share value and the uh, closing price for hex that I'm using. So the closing price for hex that I'm using today is actually lower than yesterday's, and the T share value is as well. However, the T share rate is somehow higher. I don't know exactly how that happened, but <laughs> it's there. I mean, this this thing is just crazy, man. It's really crazy, and I know it doesn't make sense, but it's it's true. Uh, yeah. I'm I think what there. we need to make sense for, like, because a lot of the people that watch us are hexagons already. I think is just the importance of putting in this first few months like of this year putting as many stakes t shares out as far out as you can theoretically oh, wow. within the last 10 last like 10 to 15 yeah. because yeah, that's so. the, that's the boat that you're missing if you <laughs> mm -hmm. if you're buying a tons of hex and you're staking it like within one to five years you're, you're missing totally out. you're totally missing out on all the game like you should be staking it out as far that's what kareem always talks about and it's really yep, important exactly mm -hmm. um these, so, cause these these t shares are cheap yeah so Once let's they get to a grand that. they're not so cheap <clears> anymore yeah let's talk about that because that is pretty important, but it's important for a very specific reason. I want to get into detailed conversation about that later, because it's important to understand what the T-share is, especially if you're new to Hex and you're just learning about it. Um, 
the T share is essentially what allows you to claim on the interest pool, right? And the interest pool is the same thing as a staking pool. Um, and what your guys are seeing on this chart is the yellow line is essentially what's called the T-share rate. And that T-share rate is the equivalent equivalent of the hash rate for Bitcoin. So this line is essentially letting you know that there's interaction with the network, thereby increasing the value of said network, right? So the thing about the T-share rate is that it's essentially the interest rate for the ability to be able to claim interest in the network of hex so if you buy one t share right that t share is exponentially going it's going up in price every single day and this is what that t share rate line is showing because if you look at the x axis and you see it starts at day 1 and we're all the way out at day 435 on this axis and that's because i'm taking the data from the uh, adoption amplifier so this, this source is actually incorrect, and I always do this. Give me a second, guys, because I always forget. Uh, I might be able to fix it here, but I'll fix it in the future. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but the source is actually gold.hex.com. It is not uh, coinmetrics.io or coingecko for this chart. It's just I forget to change it. Um, but back to the T-share rate line basically it's always going to be going up and the higher and the higher the slope the steeper the slope excuse me meaning the rise over the run meaning that the the higher the slope is as far as left to right right uh the greater the value of the t-share every time a stake is ended so what does that mean so let me explain Every time a stake is ended, that T-share quantity, right, the number of T-shares you have, what ends up happening is that the next time you have to buy through that respective address, the, that quantity of T-shares becomes a divisor, okay, with respect to the new quantity of T-shares you're trying to acquire. So if, for example, you had, let's just say one T-share, and from that one T-share, you earned 20% because of the length of time you had. What ends up happening is that the new quantity of T-shares that you're trying to acquire are divided by that quantity, which is the number of T-shares multiplied by that earnings reward. So if you had one T-share and you made 20%, that new quantity gets divided by 1.2. So that's why you're always paying more. Get it? Does that make sense? I, yeah, yeah, I know the way that it ramps up like that. And, you know, when you mentioned the smart contract itself, that number never goes down in hex to like right now you can see it's between the 16,000 and the 18,000 hex mm -hmm. per share. Like people don't really consider that, that, you know, but, the actual U.S. dollar value can fluctuate, but to your point, the actual amount of hex that it costs for T-share always goes up. So in five correct. years from now, when people like this billion and a half or whatever in, in March 15th and some in February, all of that makes the actual amount of hex per T-share go up, uh, you know, a little bit incrementally every single time. But that's the part that also mimics the analog for compounding interest. Right. That is correct. Because what ends up happening is that once the end stake function is enacted or activated, the total value of all of the hex earned during that duration of time is calculated at that point in time, right? So what ends up happening is that you get that value as a function of the T-share pool added to the pool. And that's why the hash rate or the T-share rate in this case is always going up because every day a stake ends, literally every day, whether it's an emergency end stake or not, every day a stake ends. And with a stake ending comes an increased valuation in the pool simply because a compounding functionality is happening when you end the stake. So you're increasing the valuation of the pool thereby enacting a small factor of inflation and thereby increasing the variability right in the program 
which is hex in this case, right? So the, the key there, though, is that when you're increasing the variability, what's happening is, is that the variability also increases to the upside, not just to the downside. This is what people don't understand about volatility. About volatility. It stacks. Volatility stacks. It doesn't, it doesn't just go up and down. It goes in one direction. So if you can design something where volatility is skewed in one direction, it's a beautiful thing. And that is essentially what this yellow line is telling us, right? There's always going to be variability, right? There's always going to be variability because the fact of the matter is, is that the rate to acquire the T-share is always going up, requiring you, or shall I say, forcing you to get more hex each and every single time, thereby naturally increasing the demand for hex, thereby naturally increasing the need or desire for it, right? And with that typically comes increased prices by default, by default. So- Yeah, and the reason why someone would wanna pay more for hex is because they see other people's returns. Mm -hmm. If somebody Straight sees up. your returns and you're, you went from a thousand, you had a thousand T shares from last year or something still sitting here, and you're right. I don't know what your what your USD would be, be making per day right now is it's or like let's say you had ten thousand crazy amounts of cash <laughs> oh, USD man. that you're printing every day. You are every print, you have day. just replaced the Federal Reserve. You did because you got in earlier than somebody else. Well, eventually somebody yeah. else is going to see your returns and be like, oh, oh I just got to wait for the next wave up. I really regret not knowing about Hex last year. I mean, those T shares are so cheap. I, I am imagine the, what we're going to be saying a year from now. Like, oh, that's kind man. of my point is that there's always going to be meat on the bone. Like people are, oh, won't be able to resist buying more hex because I it's know. like they're going to be thinking, "I have to get t-shirts before b-shares are a thing." Oh my god, I don't even want. I, don't, I can't even. I don't even want to think of those days. I think I thought I sent Will a message today on Twitter privately, basically saying that I believe that it's possible that every six months. We'll see a 10x in price in T-shares for a while. Yeah. I mean, we've already been seeing that. Just because we're in the middle of a Bitcoin bull run, so that will give it even more fire. Mm -hmm. So, And then coming on to next year, it's like it could be the counter trade against the, the bear market. So it could really, exactly, for take two years, we could just be ratcheting 10x the T-share price every six months. That's exactly what I was going to actually get to. Like, imagine, right? People start looking for a place to store their, 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 I don't know, cash or whatever you want to call it, their coins, <laughs> their Bitcoin. I don't even know. I mean, it's just crazy, man. I don't, and, and the thing about it is, yeah, their wealth, place to stash their wealth. And the thing about it is, is like, where exactly are you going to go in the crypto market to maintain safety? Because the interesting thing that people are not taking into account. And again, this is why it's important to dabble with professionals, right? What's going to happen when the network takes a dive? Assuming it does. Assuming it does. Because I'm not entirely sure that it will to the point that I expect it to. Maybe we just get a slight pullback. But let's let's assume that it, it takes a pullback. That's material. You know, something greater than 30% from here would be material. Uh, just from a short-term perspective, right? Not from a long-term perspective, obviously. So, well, that's that a, that's a, that's the only thing that's relevant is if it could if it could dump eighty percent and be held down. But the problem is the U.S. devaluation of T shares goes yeah. down so much at that rate that they become cheap again. So yeah, it pushes the price of X back heck, up, and it's I an don't oscillation. See ever going down eighty percent, bro? <laughs> that's a, I mean, I, look, it's done it already. Yeah, but from a peak, not like I'm, anytime I think 80%, I mean peak to, tr I think like trough to peak, right? Like most right. recent trough to. You're most talking about recent. where the where the majority of the price action is. You're not seeing Yeah, Yeah, yeah not just 80% from the most recent high. So let me, well, let me explain that. We got that. a bunch of smart people in here. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me explain that because I've never explained that actually, and I probably should have. I got to stop assuming you guys just understand this shit. Um, so. A bear market is typically defined by its most recent trough to peak. And what that means is the most recent low to the most recent high, right? So if a market like Hex, for example, went from 0.3 to 0 
cents, right, from 0 0.003, which is three tenths of a cent, to 2.2 cents, right, then the, the bear market would have to be defined within that band, within that range. So you could say that the bear market in hex went from 2.2 .2 or 2.2 .2 cents or two cents, whatever the number was, down to 7.7 or 0 0.00076, you know, tenths of a cent, or whatever the number is that it went down. Yeah, it went right? from two point. It went from two on the USDC chart V2 Uniswap chart. It went from a, a two down to a low wick down to 0 0.0065. Essentially. There you go. There you go. So almost Which half. Would be almost seventy five percent. Almost. 67.19% drop. And then look how fast it recovers because T-shares became cheap down there. A whale Sounds wanted to come good. in and price out people at the it's, at that price. So he was getting an, an, an advantage on the portion of the pool that he would get staking that many T-shares. Correct. So what he did is he he basically got in there and pushed price up to what would have been, was a 100% move. So now everyone who comes in after him has to pay a hundred more dollars per T-share just to try to compete against his stakes that he created, you know, a whopping eight days ago. You know, and that's the amazing thing about the system is that you right now you can price people out as a whale. So whales, if you're listening, you should be just all over this opportunity because it wouldn't take a lot of uh, capital to get you in a meaningful position. Nope. I mean, that's the thing, right? You can trade the T shares or you can trade hex. I prefer to trade the T shares. <laughs> I think that's that's the smarter trade because the T shares are what pays you. Right? If you understand that the T shares are what you need to be buying, not the hex, the hex is really just the pass through mm -hmm. to the T shares, right? Because ultimately the T shares are what pay you hex. You need the hex to get the T-shares, but you ultimately want more hex. But the reality is, is that in order to get the most hex possible, you have to trade the T-shares. And by trading the T-shares, I mean buying the dips on the T-shares, not just buying T-shares, right? Because you can buy T-shares. So I know they always say stake today, not tomorrow, but the reality is it's not true because that's a dynamic system. It's not... It's not monotonic, right? If it was if it was monotonic, then yes, that would be true. So let me explain what monotonicity is. Monotonicity is when this rate line never goes anything but up. And this line doesn't just go up, it goes sideways too. Right? But the reality is that we're using dollars. So when that line is going sideways, odds are the price is going down. Because otherwise, I would it go sideways? Doesn't really make sense. Because I just I just alluded to price going down, as well as the T share value going down, but this still went up. Why is that? It's because of the math, right? It's a ratio. So anytime the number in the denominator is smaller, the value is always going to go up. So this is literally the T share. The T-share rate is the T-share price over the price of hex in U.S. dollar terms, both of them, right? So that's why. Even though the T-share value went down, the hex rate went down a little bit more than the T-share rate. So Another the way to put this is like if, if, you're, if your T-shares are gener gener generating you $100,000 a month in revenue and your T-shares are worth a million dollars today, but tomorrow they're only worth a hundred thousand dollars. Well, that fundamentally breaks all logic and the whole mathematical process. Like the, the, the amount of investment into the T shares has to greatly outweigh the return. Right. Otherwise the system doesn't work. So that's why the, that price only can go up. Right. Cause everyone that came before you has already got a revenue stream coming in. Correct. So we're relying on, the future appreciation of your T shares, not hex, your T shares, to get to make sure that those revenue streams are steady, and somebody else isn't going to come in there and just you know swoop up as many. Just start, you know, it's not like you could just go to, like in the mining world. The parallel is in the mining world. A, a piece of equipment can cost you three thousand dollars this month, and if the price of Bitcoin dumps really low, that equipment now you can get for like 
half. Like 80 percent off yeah half. half or more <laughs> yeah. and i mean that's theoretically what i'm saying about about is possible with t-shares in usd denominated terms as the price of hex changes but the hex de denomination the bid only goes up in price which at some point the usd price restabilizes and then it just forces upward movement so it's just a it doesn't last very long right now and i don't think it will but it's interesting to think about when this thing's got so much economic energy behind it how long these dumps and pumps are going to like play out for we could get a nice like constant oscillation of a 45 degree angle well that's the forever. cool thing about about people staking is when, when you mention it, it's got to incentivize right so they've got to be incentivized to actually lock it up for a time and that's why it rewards the time value of money but since everyone is not when, when Richard talks about like the gains on paper, like it's just like with anything, right? If, if everyone were to sell that asset at once, it would, it would go down in dollar value. Uh, but since hex, everyone generally is not ending their stakes on the same day. Then when you mention that it can keep going up at that angle, it's, it's true. I mean, not everyone's selling at the same time. So nope. uh, delay that gratification, <laughs> you know, like shit, 10, 15 years with the average of five, like a lot of people delaying their gratification you gotta yeah. know why like oh this thing actually when you mention it can be a hedge towards a bear market and things like that like people uh, when you mention like the the wealth they want to park their money but somewhere it's also secure somewhere where it's not getting hacked like this other DeFi bs that claims to be <laughs> DeFi and like doesn't do the proper uh, oh my god dude isn't it like every day with these hacks i swear to god it's every day <laughs> it's disgusting man it's, crazy. it's every day yeah, it's it's every day now. It's like every single day. I don't think there's been one day this week where there wasn't a hack. And I don't know if it's because I'm paying more attention now or what, but it was every day this week, including like Thursday and Friday of last week. It's been crazy. And I'm going to do, I want to do a whole episode just on that. I mean, that alone might be like four, five, eight hours. I don't even know. <laughs> that's gonna be like a whole I'm gonna have to take like a whole weekend run you know like a whole marathon for that shit there's so many hacks how can I go through them all it's impossible I mean, you don't really I mean it's just easy dude park your money in hex and you don't have to worry about hacks that's it obviously done. But people have we to did the work why Richard first. did the work for you he made a complete product jump in uh, yeah but people don't know it exists and people think it's a scam so we gotta show them the actual scams first well, and the crazy thing is Bitcoin has gone up from a penny to now almost like 5 million X. And yeah. that's with its vulnerabilities that it's had. It's had Yo. Oh my God, dude. vulnerabilities. It's had People do not People were so desperate for a new form of money, dude. dude yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what's funny? Bitcoin isn't money. You know what's funny? I bought Bitcoin. What was it? I bought, no, I was selling. I sold some Bitcoin the other day. I sold some Bitcoin the other day just to get some cash because I think it's a little bit up. You know, whatever. Sure. Let me take some profits. And, yo, it took so damn long for that transaction to clear. It didn't make any sense because I've been transacting on Ethereum for so long. I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like, what the like hell is going on? I'd rather pay the fees. This is insane. Yeah. Like, it was so slow that I forgot about it. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I went to check and was like, holy shit, it's been done for like 20 minutes. I completely forgot. What, what can Stable, you do with it? You can buy it and sell it, right? You can't do shit. Like Ethereum is great because not only can you buy it and sell it, but its block times are faster. It's more secure. You know, it's got you can even gamble things. on it <laughs> if you wanted to, right? Like you can do the dumbest things on it, but at least you can do stuff on it. Mm -hmm. It's got to be, yeah, you, you know, it serves a purpose. It's usability. It's secure. You know, Ethereum, you know, a lot of people, they program the shit the wrong way because it's in solidity and you know, uh, things like this, but that's their fault. I mean, people like Richard, uh, I remember when he was going to launch it and then it was like, okay, we're four weeks out, we're doing the audits and then, you know, another four, another four. And then it just took forever. It felt like, mm -hmm. and then finally when it launched, it was like, oh dude, this is, this is cool. And that's why so many people ev uh, valued it at such a high rate on day one, because there's right. so much pent up pressure. Mm, that's interesting. I didn't know. So how long did it take for the coin to actually come out? I'm not privy to that. I don't know. I swear, dude, it was like half a year to like nine wow. months or something. I was like, when the fuck is this going to be released? Wow, so we were waiting for that long. Interesting. I, yeah, yeah. I had no idea. Wow, people are still calling it a scam? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. do you realize how much stupider these people look to me now? This is insane. Richard took his time to do it right. You know, when you look at his 
you know, here, here's the thing. So you listen to like what these people are saying and then you look at the credibility of, like, this is what I always do. Look at the credibility of the arguments. And then also once you actually do that, you realize, oh, especially with Richard, like not only are they wrong, but then you kind of look in like to their character flaws and it's like, mm-hmm. man, they, they really don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Nope. And that's why you got to listen to people or just do your own research. So, you know, for yourself. Yep. That's key. Doing your own research is the key always. <laughs> And that's easy for people that are like, you know, aware oh and emo- like, I don't know, I don't want to say the word woke, but like just emotionally. You know, it's funny, man. I've been, but dude, I've been, I've been woke not everyone is like capable 10. of just like listening to Richard and not see him as a scammer. And that's you know, kind of funny. the point I was trying to drive home earlier. Yeah, it's funny because, you know, if you're from like the hood, like inner city, you know exactly what a scammer looks like. And like I've and like I've relayed before, my job is to literally search for frosters all day and it took me two or three months before I even thought of looking him up as a scammer. Like the dude's not a scammer, man. Yeah. If you don't get that, then you don't know what the hell a scam artist looks like, and you're getting scammed daily. Well, Literally, I mean, stream, not even joking. With Axis, like I really liked it. It was it was cool. I've, I I know I've followed you on Twitter for a little while, and it was cool to see you on cam- uh, or not on camera, but like on a stream. And the thing I wanted to say is, you mentioned like. It's almost like, you know, Richard marketed it like a scam. Like, you know, it had, it had like, you know, obviously one level, not multi-level like these people would claim, but they have properties though. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, and, and so for the people that got it, they got it. And for the people that thought it was just another one of those, you know, it was different this time. And, and that's why I do think that Hex is, you know, we've already kind of seen how it acted in a bear market when, when we were getting out of it. But right. now we see what it's already doing in a bull market. And just to imagine in one year it did 352x. That's not even on the share rate. On the, the dollar to share <laughs> that's rate. That's just the price, high. right? Crazy. Yeah, dude, you're, you're blowing my mind, man. That's just not what this thing's going to do. That's not even including interest, guys. We don't ever even talk about interest. That's the crazy thing. That's like always the afterthought, but that's why we're all here. Isn't that the isn't that the craziest thing? That is the craziest it's thing. Wild. Yeah. It's wild, like that. This that 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 you can take I mean, out, I a, such, take out the middleman and you can provide yourself with financial. I have such a big smile on my face financial. right now, dudes. Like I got such a big smile. Yeah, face dude. is crazy. It's, <laughs> it's like, I think this is just the beginning yeah, of literally. <laughs> of it is the beginning. That Yo, kind of guys, like, look. Let innovation. me be because it's just hexagons in the stream right now. Let me be frank with you guys. This thing is definitely going to see $1,000. It's definitely going to see $100. It's a no-brainer. I already explained to you guys how this shit works. You just got to wait it out. Literally. You're going to be riding in ranges in no time if you want to. You're going to be doing whatever you want. If we can break the dollar like sooner rather than later, it'll go faster than anyone can. That's good. Oh, you're going to break the dollar this year. We're going to break the dollar this year. There's no doubt. No doubt. Look at what Graf did. Look at what Graf did, bro. That shit doesn't serve any purpose. It's just what's, what's 350% from the top of the two cent? What is that? 350% from the top of the two cent? Uh, I think that's like 70% or something. Is it? No, 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 no. no. It's 70 not. cents? No, no, it's not 70 cents. You said from two Seven cents? cents. Uh, yeah, from two cents to seven. Because that's 2.2 two times. Cents, sorry, it's six cents. Yeah, so it's seven cents. Well, six bro. cents should be right around the corner. It's seven cents. Yeah, it is right around the corner, bro. We're already, look, we're already putting in a floor. I don't know where the price is now. It's probably like one, up, it's above one and a quarter, one and a quarter cents, right? By the so, way, just looking at the chart, I don't want to get too far off track, but I think we could break down and then just rally right away, kind of like how we did at the bottom <laughs> yeah. of the, at the start of this bull market. Look mark, at what we market. did. So, look, if we don't keep going uh, sideways or up, what will ultimately happen is that we'll just slip lower like we always do. And go sideways for Under various one, days. One point oh five is the target. Right. I'm maybe hoping a wick for one through, maybe. Look, Once we I'm, reclaim that, look at it just rallied. I'm gonna be honest. Five. I'm praying for a puke at some point. I don't see it coming, but I'm praying for one I, because I, it's it's, right I did my taxes. Damn it. So <laughs> 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 I'm gonna Four load. Up. I'm taking all them dollars and cents, all that fiat going straight to hex, baby. If I'm wrong about the dump right now, then it just means we get. We basically hit my targets faster, which is 1.78 yeah. to 1.82. You know Damn, dude, do you got that chart you posted the other day? You should pull that chart up. Which do one? you got it? I, uh, the one with the round, the round, the, the angle, because that's exactly what this is going to do. That's exactly yeah. what Graf did. That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. It's going to do the exact okay. same thing. Well, that one's that... pretty wild. That one goes to a dollar. 
Right, but that's what you just think it's going to do. You really don't know what it's going to do. Right. right. Well, put up the if you pull up. Um, I can find it. I know. I know. I know how to I'll, find. I like it too. I just oh, gotta okay. go through. I'm on two computers at once here, so. Oh, take your time. So let's keep talking about this T-share rate. <clears throat> so let's remember, right? The T-shares. Every time you end a stake is ended. This is why the price is always going going to go up, guys. Every time a stake is ended, the T-share rate becomes more expensive for that for that specific wallet. So what that means is if they just had 30 T-shares and they earned 30% of those T-shares, the next round of T-shares that they get are basically divided by 1.1, right? Because what's happening is, is that that divisor is now becoming a factor in their ability to, pu to purchase stakes at the next iteration because that's how the system works. So that's how the system forces participants to buy more hex thereby driving the price higher so there's always going to be steady greater demand for hex literally like this is mathematically embedded in the code you can look it up and well, i can you, actually show you the source what's up you you mentioned like psych uh access alive mentions uh, psychological numbers right a dollar like i remember yeah. in the beginning uh fuck dude it was just it's crazy that it uh it's already been this much time but but anyways <laughs> uh, uh one penny was a psychological number correct and fucking that shit hit two pennies on on New Year's Eve. Like in one day. <laughs> in one year. Like in one year. But yeah, let's wow. remember. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let's remember that like two days before it hit two, it was at like six tenths of a cent. Literally, it went four times in two days. Mm -hmm. I was buying that whole thing all the way up, all the way up to one penny. I was like, anything under a penny is a, is a godsend. Yo, and that's and that's exactly what Brandon's saying. Like this thing is just running, and people that's don't that. get it. Sent you that those charts. There's two of them we should look at. Oh wait, you probably sent them on Twitter. Let me go over there. Yeah, I sent them on Twitter. Yes. Well, yeah. Actually, <clears throat> you mentioned like the psychological numbers. So we already hit a pen we already hit two pennies, but now it's like okay, and now we're o solidly over a penny. I mean, who knows what the short term is going to do? But we know that we're at least for a little bit solidly over a penny. So then it's going to be oh, we're solidly over ten pennies, and then twenty, and then just those numbers do uh, ramp up as uh, everything else in the momentum ramps up too mm -hmm. and then eat like you were like in to your point mm -hmm. each huge each 10x in in price is significant because the t-share rate never comes back down at that from that level like it always pushes the usd t-share price up to into a level where it's like even if hex dumps pretty far that's like there's so much end staking that goes on after big run-ups and there's so much stuff that plays into that you know that it's significant and then it creates a new price floor for like let's, however many days i think we'll see this like stair step thing happen over and over and over again we'll have a, a wavy oscillation with a 45 degree and then a huge pump and then a staircase and we'll Correct. do it sideways and then we'll do the same thing over and over that's exactly what we're gonna see <clears throat> yeah i found i found the chart i remembered um it's not the exact chart you sent but it's basically the same thing. But I just like this chart because of the little rocket on it. <laughs> That's basically why I like this chart because of the little rocket in it. Um, so oh, basically, one. yeah, basic. <laughs> but but this is basically what you just said because this is exactly how I see it. The little stair steps, right? Because this is basically how hex moves. This is exactly why I wanted to pull this chart up. Okay. And this is just a fifteen-minute chart, right? So I'm clearly not saying that this is the pattern. It's not the pattern. We can is, do, I would agree with you. It's not the pattern, and the sh and the angle's too sharp. But that's the idea. But this is the idea, correct? Because the, the 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 slope is a whole lot wider for sure. And I'll pull up the other charts. But um, this is basically the idea. Um, big picture, this is what I see happening. And the next chart that I'm going to pull up is going to show exactly that. Um, but I just wanted to show this one because I think the drawing is more apt. Um, that's really all it is for me. Oh, where's the thing of a jigger? Well, the cool thing about Hex, too, like, the, the other thing I'll say is is I've, I've never owned a business. I mean, I've got three older brothers, and, you know, my parents did real estate for 25 years. They kind of have done, like, the more entrepreneurship route, and I've always been interested. But anyways, with Hex, 
you can earn interest trustlessly, like, and you know, no that's, need that's to work, baby. The, yeah, it's, it's in the form and it's in the payment of hex, you know, so it's it's not like dollar, which Brand, I don't need it to be in dollar. Let me give exactly. you a life secret, my man. Working is for suckers. All right, don't you ever forget that. <laughs> don't you ever forget that. Working is cool if you got to do it, but it depends it's what you're doing, I guess. You know, yeah, one hundred percent. It's for suckers, bro. At the end of the day, there's two ways to look at it. You can let your money work for you, but then the work that you do has got to be important to you. And I think that's super important. Like, I don't think not working is the answer for anybody. Like, if you want to well, be the most the thing, work, work. In the most despair and like negative and just down downward spiral, like emotionally screwed up, like don't work and just don't don't hold yourself to account on anything. Like, that's literally the. Uh, f- a recipe There's a difference for disaster. between working and adding value, brother. My my opinion is working is not adding value. It's not. You're talking about droning. Exactly. But that's the whole thing, right? We have it's to speak. Paycheckers, the guys yeah, that want to show we, up to we, work, get their paycheck, right. and like leave. We have yeah. to think in people terms. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying working, because that's what it is. I don't call this work, but people would call this work. You know what I'm saying? And this isn't work. So that's the difference, right? So that's why, like, I'm up. It's midnight over here. I don't, I don't need to be up. I could be out on a Friday, but I'd rather be doing this because this is more important. This is where I add value. See what I'm saying? Uh, and this, and this is free. I'm not. Well, and paid. and you're like changing lives by showing people that this does have validity and it's going right. to play out. Like Correct. It's, it's it's written in law in the law of the universe of of number of of mathematics that that Correct. this. The, it's just as sure as shit and foolproof. as you're going to get old, this is sure as shit going to get you fucking rich. Facts. Mm-hmm. And that's math. That ain't got nothing to do with my opinion. That's straight math, and I already showed it to you. So that's just what it is. So this is basically exactly correct what I'm what I'm expecting. End of summer, buck, two bucks. Because you see, you got it June. June is the beginning of summer. But this is basically what I'm expecting. Just in the pattern that you drew in the other chart. Because it basically plays out just like this, right? You have these zigzags up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's basically what I expected to just continue to do. Because as T-share rate goes up, this is going to force a parabola in that direction. And maybe not, you know, directly up in that yeah, That might not be that extreme, but, but the point something is that it should like that. follow it's, that structure. Yeah, right it's, it's, it's going to be something. I mean, and, and you know, I do you think there's going to be an initial impulsive move similar to like where it does the breakout past two cents? But it might right. not be two cents. It might be so, another level. But it's so going to do it. Let me, um, <laughs> let me squeeze this bad boy out, right? Because you got to understand that, like, if, if the March 15th stake ends, <laughs> And oh, pushes the price up in that, the same day. So, that is going to so be. So let's talk about that. Whole new epoch. Everybody has a complete misunderstanding of, like I just realized, everybody is wrong when they when it comes down to stakes. Period. Big end stake days are the shit. That means we're about to get fucking paid. Mm-hmm. That's what that means. Yep. They're going to have to pay a higher share rate. Yep. Correct, because if they want to restake and stay in the system, they got to pay. So not only are we going to end up getting paid more henceforth, but it's going to cause the person ending the stake to pay more to re-enter the system. So it's a good day. In reality, it's not a bad day. It's a great day for a hexagon. So if we look at this chart versus this chart, right? So Marco, guys, to your point on on the, on a whale dumping millions, dude, there's mm-hmm. been whales dumping hundreds of millions. That's why the chart hasn't gone up faster. Yeah. There are the, I'm I'm confident and, 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 and check this out because I don't waste my time looking at, at, at fucking chains. That's really a waste of time. Um, the thing about it is the market as a whole determines where it's going to go. Not one individual, not one wallet, not one mm-hmm. whale. Unless it's the OA, it literally doesn't matter. Straight up. It mattered in the early days because people didn't understand. Now I'm letting you guys know. Shit literally does not matter. Well, the cool thing about Hex is the Hex.Vision. Like, it's the mm-hmm. first cryptocurrency to have not only, like, legitimate uh, certificate of deposit kind of, like, on the blockchain, but it's got a future – it's got a chart of, like, the future of market supply. So oh, yeah, see, straight up. 
hundred percent just mentions like transparent uh, on March fifteenth, like oh is uh, I mean a lot of people speculate like oh dump or pump, but he mentions also like yeah if if that supply is released to the market and say the person like theoretically if we're just talking theoretical like. Yeah, say they, they restake for longer or something like that, then I don't know. It's it's cool that you can at least see what wallets are ending and what wallets could end. So you can maybe place your bets after or before. So check this out. That's not a wallet, right? That's the actual function of the real system. That's that's not the wallet. That is what's actually there. You get what I'm saying? Like you don't need to look at a change for that. That's what's there. That's what happened and you can't change it. Because if right. they change it, Guess what? They got to pay. So it literally doesn't matter. Trust me. I'm not making this up. I've been doing this for 10 years. <laughs> no, I, I know what you mean. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. Trust me. It, it, they, could, they could do a whole new wallet. You're not going to know. It's pointless, for brother. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, trust me. It's, it's I like not... the analogy that we get paid to hold up the price because it's literally your you job do. as a hexagon is to lock your coins up and start – and. Delay gratification and don't sell, and that's that's your job as a as a as a user of the system. And that's 100%. it. It's just hundred <clears throat> percent. So my whole thing is like these these like one to two year stakes make absolutely no sense to me, and it just it just to me seems like you don't you either a trying to dump the dollar when it first hits a dollar, right. or you're trying to dump the two dollars or whatever. That's player A and player B is they just don't understand the system really fundamentally. They just because you're what you're trying to do when you get t-shares now is you're trying to hold them when when we're off t-shares. That's right. when your revenue stream should work hardest for you. So because we're going to be such whales in the system that we're going to have a huge piece of that pie at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting because I'm going to get into that. I'm going to like I'm going to literally explain all of that and it's going to be very cool because I got a whole Excel spreadsheet laid out that's going to change and everything with the numbers and like, it's going to be very cool because people are going to be able to see the interest live and how it affects and how it changes with time and how it doesn't. So it's going to be very cool. So if we look at this chart, right, what we're going to see here is that the first test to the thesis of what happens when stakes end. Now, keep in mind, this has no bearing on whether people sell or not, right? We're merely talking about stakes ending and what happens after the stake ends. Now, if somebody decides to sell, that's a completely separate part of the equation because we're assuming that these people ending these stakes are going to restake. That's the assumption here because these are big numbers. And if they don't, you know what time it is, buy the dip because it's a no brainer. Because again, it always costs more to restake. So if you get a dip, you already know the math, right? Like, it's really straightforward, so. I'm looking at the uh, your that chart for graph. Uh, it blows me away. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up for sure. Give me a second. It's, it's the only one that did, like, I mean, I've seen. But, but, you guys run. See, but you guys see kind of what I'm getting at, right? When you're looking at that chart, this chart, this is basically what I'm seeing. These end stakes here, before you go off that, sorry, to be jumping around so much. No, no, no worries, no worries. The, the end stakes thing, that's key because in the future, when it's not just one massive billion hex whale and there's like a few of them, they're going to be trying to price each other out of T-shirts I mean, faster. This, this is just, just the next 90 days, right? Like, this is just going to rack days. the price of hex up so high, dude. <clears throat> For sure. And let me see if, because I'm not good at using this yet, but uh, let me see. Well, and then the other thing is too, like, is this is all kind of just short term. Like, when you think about it, like, right a year from now, like, well, it's gonna be money. completely different. <laughs> it's gonna be more than like a, a dollar, two dollars, whatever it ends up being. It's gonna be like, you know, and then and then you got the people that have, like Kareem mentions, like the the 10, 15 year stakes, and, and everyone's time frame is different. But yeah. some people don't really realize the actual power of the t shares and, and the power of that cost of t shirts oh, going it's... up. So like. It cannot be understated. It's such an important thing. Like you guys are screwing up if you are not staking these out a long time, majorly. <laughs> like oh. you are, you are literally pissing and pissing in your own water. Like, it's, it's literally like throwing money away because it's like holding Bitcoin and getting. Extra I mean, Bitcoin on top it's of like it. it's literally. like walking away with a million dollars instead of walking away with a hundred million dollars. Like it's a big difference. Yeah, so check this chart out. Uh, what'd you say, Brand? I'm sorry, I cut you off. I'm mistaken. Oh. 
yeah, you don't want to kill the golden goose, you know. Right, right. Hey, you know big what? Cat, baby. We're, we're gonna Let's get go into big that. Cat, baby. We're gonna <laughs> Big Pep is great because he really, really gives it in a way, man, that is so like duh. <laughs> right. So He's yeah, like, I can't so be that level uh, headed about this thing. Yeah, but, but he can. <laughs> that's but that's the thing, right? People need to hear that. That's why he that's why he has all the subs he has, right? Like, people need to hear that because that basic talk is exactly what people need to understand because it's it's that simple. Really it is. I'm just I'm just giving you the numbers, man. You're trying to solve it for the crypto <clears throat> people that are just fighting it, and then he's mm -hmm. actually sh on. He's like showing it to regular people. They, like All I right. said before in the last stream, is that regular people get this so fast? Exactly. That's why my like, goal my goal is to do just that. Talk about it with regular people. Here's some retirement information. This is where you want to put your money for your retirement, and here's why. Here's the numbers. This is your Wall Street exit strategy, bro. Yo. You start shilling hacks in your meetings, and you're like, look. This is what's up. Like, screw everything You're else. Right. Bro, exit, they told me I on exit so legacy. fast it wouldn't even be funny. <laughs> like, uh, make, like sure you make sure you, know you, that you show meme? that Saker.app referral link on the way. Oh, oh. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 get that cut in my head. <laughs> I'm going to get my little uh, my little link cut in my head. Speaking of Staker app, that, that income.watch is my Staker app referral link. If anybody is new to Hex, or doesn't have the sticker app and is in Hex for some odd reason, uh, check that link out, income.watch, because you want to be watching your income in real time, don't you? I know I do. So hey, check Would you out. guys be cool with your APYs going down to like 5% if it meant that the price of the coin yeah. went for like $10? Yeah, you're totally. just still getting the equivalent amount of money. Think about it. It's balancing out, right? So wouldn't you say that this is not that much different than a rebalance coin? No, it's, it's, it's entirely not the same thing. Think about it. Right, you're getting, because, right, because you're the future price coin. ratchets and holds its position versus Correct. a rebalance coin, which does not do that. Exactly. It goes but otherwise, it's a fundamentally a similar mechanism. This, this is this is asymmetric in the sense that it only goes one way. And it, good word, it, asymmetric. Yeah, this is asymmetric. This is not symmetric. Correct. So it only goes in one way, and that one way is up, and that's the whole point. And if you look at this chart that I have here, and I got this chart from Dipcatcher, you guys check him out on Twitter. He's a very good follow. Uh, he posts some very good charts, uh, as you guys can see. Um, he sent this out, and I took it, and I was looking at it, and I think I tweaked it a little bit, not much. Um, all I did was I went back to the inception of time. I think he had it out probably for, like, just all of 2020 or something. I don't know. It was just a little different. I didn't do anything much. Um, but long story short, if you look at the blue line with the dots, the blue line with the dots are essentially the cumulative stake, the cumulative stakes ending at each month from now until the end of the contract as it keeps existing. Right. So tomorrow we'll have a different day uh, next month for the month of February. When March comes around, we'll have a new data point. Oh, look, we got them all the way out to March uh, 3036. 30, six February. yeah that's march 36 because that's really april 1st right april 1st is really all of march 36 so when people go into the system and they put more stakes for that month that more stakes will pop up but oh no i guess it is april huh interesting so it's actually catching every month in a bucket cool mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how best to dissect oh, this information. It goes all the way, yeah, all the way to April. So this April. is the expiring shares. Granted, they end their stake within the 14-day grace period, correct? Correct. So the yellow line is the expected end for months, and this is the cumulative expiring shares, right? And that's the metric I was going to use to subtract from the total number of shares, which is in the trillions, and that number is only in the billions. So this is a way to get an accurate read, right? But it's going to be a dynamic model over time because, of course, as more people enter the system, that rate is going to change and it's going to become even more expensive because that's a function of it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this is the line that could be used to create that model. And that's just that. Axis, when did you get into Hex? Uh, I was a day one Hexican. Oh, okay. I FOMO'd. Nice, nice. Cool. <laughs> but I uh, I didn't come out and start posting charts and talking about it until until I decided that after the big payday, after the dump, uh, let's see. No, this is how it went. Okay, so there was the DeFi summer, and I had completely forgotten about Hex. I just had it in my back pocket. Right. You know, I put a couple ETH in day one and day two, mm -hmm. and staked them out two years and six years, and I thought a lot about. 
at the time about how much that could be worth in the future and that that was all that would always take to get to where I wanted to go. And then I saw my investment. I don't remember what the X amount was, but because mm-hmm. like, what was what you would you say was fair value day one and day two, like 005, like a half a penny per ETH, probably somewhere uh, in there. Honestly, I, I don't know. Because uh, it was know. weird then because we got boned that first and second day. And so I kind of got, I was like, I should definitely buy the million in like a week or two when it, and I knew and I had the thought, but I didn't do it. And that's an example of not executing on your intuition. And I would recommend advising against that in the future for anybody that has like a bag of ETH or BTC. And they're like, well, I don't know if I should put it into Hex or not. Trust me, do it. Because after the big payday and after seeing those kinds of gains from those little, those couple ETH that I threw in day one and day two, I was like, the system's recovering. And this is the future of finance technology on the blockchain because i would say what anything that came before it really wasn't that every every other blockchain is something else it's not a finance mm. tool totally so it just was like a mind-blowing experience watching the recovery so i bought it 0046 i bought it 006 i bought it 07 and it just kept going faster and faster and then at like 1.1 pennies i stopped adding and i let the blow off top happen and then as we sold down i'm like Holy crap, bro. That was like, what was that? Like an 800% move, 900% move. I was like, dude, just imagine the gains if it can keep doing that. Because it's so young. It's like, there's no reason with how low the liquidity is why we can't see huge price fluctuations and valuations later on. And we got the unit bias working in our favor. And it's a whole system, immutable contract, triple audited. I've been through the I've been through the whole spiel so many times in my head that I was just like, <laughs> there's no reason why anyone on planet Earth would stay in a 401k. And I actually pulled out all my money out of my 401k that I could under the COVID-19 Care Act, and I dumped it into Bitcoin originally, rode the thirteen thousand dollar Bitcoin all the way up to thirty, then converted it into Hex, and then I was adding Ether at like three sixty five and five eighty five. So I was trading before this. I was high leverage trading. I was. Trading Bitcoin and Ether mainly. I don't really like to do the shitcoin stuff, but <laughs> then then it, guess where it all ended up? It, every single dollar ended up in Hex. And you want to know why? Because now I'm free. I'm free to do other things now, like come on and talk about it and make get other people involved. And, uh, and the money's working for me now. And I, the way that I've done the math is like, what's it going to be at a dollar? Because that for me is a for sure. So like, what's it going to be at a dollar? Do I have enough now? And anything under a penny was was a gift, and that's like really all I needed was to get you know. As much as you're pop. even even a hundred thousand coins, um, is going to go a long way. Yeah, a whole know? long way, whole long way. And I try to tell people, please get as much as possible, <clears throat> because the thing about it is, <clears throat> you have to think about the interest. Really, it's what it is. Just the interest sets it apart from everything else. It really does. I mean, well, yeah, it definitely got those, my interest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're one of those ten percent of the people right now, like in that pool, like of, of all the, uh, as far as like you know, only about ten percent of people are staked. Then it's it's so amazing to be like part of that, just to know like. That to me is earning. crazy. That's and crazy. Every day, man. Yeah, that to me is crazy. I don't know what the hell's wrong, with people that can't do math. But hey, we I'm here to teach, so we'll get there. Um, and my man Marco uh, notes, being from New York City, we know scammers instantly. Instantly. That's not a lie. Uh, he's been marketing for years, and he's seen all scams. And not once did he ever get that vibe from Richard. And like I said, man, I agree. I mean, you guys got to understand, we in New York, not only do you deal with alcoholics, right, and people that are trying to scam you all day, but you're dealing with mm-hmm. junkies. You know, drug addicts of all shapes, colors, and varieties, and they're trying to yeah, extract dude. dollars and cents from you. Seattle's all very similar day. too, man. There it's you very, go. There you a go. Bit you less on that scale, but very similar. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. It's the yeah. same difference, really, because one is the same as twenty. You know, it's still the same right. thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. You know, the, the demeanor is the same, and that's just what it is, man. You know, and 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 that's why. Uh, you really have to be aware of all of these things that are going on. I mean, it's just crazy, dude. Yeah. It's so true. when the and so Amin said, I think that's her name. Said uh, she wanted to know, like, or wanted to know, in ten years when these huge stakes end, how are they going to be able to cash out? 
Well, I think a better question is what's that going to do to the share price and this and the and the <laughs> you know what's that going to do to the share price in ten years? Right. So if you want to, if you really want to know, the answer is not <clears throat> not how they're going to cash out because I that's not really a concern as much as if you put in a fifteen year stake, knowing that from year fourteen to fifteen your account will five x on the premise of the trajectory of the graph, the just your account will five x in that one year from fourteen to fifteen. But on year 10, all of that massive whale stakes is going to come out all at the same time that are these Genesis share stakes. That are just, right. you know, shares. And that's just going to do things that that lack, that last that five year window after the 10 years and the 15 years, it's like double compounding. So like it's going to push way up at year 11, 12, 13, 14. But then in that year 14 to 15, you're going to get like a 5x on everything that happened before that. So it's. That is going to be cool. Now I'm going to be 45 or 46 then, so it's going to be. I've already got ideas, like you know where I'll be in life at that point, and what that would be able to afford me along the way. And I'm looking at ways to how can I collateralize that now, because that's going to be something that I'll have as leverage in the real world. Big, big time, big time, because it's going to be an, it's going to be an actual asset, right, with value. Right. So when you ask how is somebody going to cash out, <clears throat> well, you should like. In the real world, all there is is debts and um, what's the positive side of the equation? Debts and assets, uh, and assets right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is going to be an asset, so there will be liquidity to, to sell into. I mean, that's it doesn't take a lot. I mean, like right now, you can sell millions of dollars of coin. You know, yeah. you just got to spread out your spread out your sell order. Yeah, I mean, I the think. Thing too, Go ahead, bro. People think people. They think it's a single button click. Bam! How do I sell? You know? Yeah, that's just. You got to understand markets a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, the thing, no, you, like, here's the thing, guys. You, you you have to always be thinking of how things actually work, right? When you're talking about a market and how it works, you have to take into account basically what it is that's happening, right? Like, and what's happening is you're basically – transacting with somebody in an electronic fashion now what that means is somebody is buying somebody is selling so it's literally a net zero unless the quantity happens to be greater such that on either side of the seller or buy right the person that is already filled and is no longer transacting and there is an opposite opposing order on the other side of the person that is already filled then that means there's still a wall there right price still can't move it still has to go into that void where that buy or sell order is still sitting there accumulating whatever the opposite order is so you just have to be cognizant of how markets work right so it's either that extreme or the opposite, meaning there's nobody there, right? And I doubt there's not going to be anybody. I think we could show a graphic right now that would be that would be really helpful just to show this. I mean, I'm sure all of us pretty much get markets, but to see it live is like really telling. What do you mean? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a link right now, and we'll okay. we'll look at a live death chart because that's okay. gonna tell you kind of what we're talking about, and we'll watch it. It's gonna be a Bitcoin. Got the chart. Uh, you know, I was just thinking about that that uh two way stuff they be putting. Uh, so this is like a long term chart. Oh, this is just the next hundred eighty days, really. Oh no, okay, that's what I thought. I pulled up the next ninety months on the stakes, so mm -hmm. we can see like after twenty twenty two, it's pretty or well, actually twenty twenty three. Six, I think it says. No, I was thinking like right here. Yeah. After after basically 2024 pretty much flattens out for now, right? In terms of how the stakes are going to end for the most part. Just for the most part. Yeah, it looks like you're going to get a ratchet every year. One or so. Yeah. And it looks like there's going to be a big one after year 2030, which I'm not showing here. So let me actually update that. Rand, do you think that the rolling wave is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until like some climactic event and then all the rolling waves going to sell off and then we're going to reset? Um, I think... I think that was going to happen is um, I, th I think we can't really tell because, um, you know, we don't really know how this is going to evolve. 
Yeah, I'm talking about like a huge like a hundred X run up in like a week. Like, what would that do? Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, cause that's yeah. possible. Yeah, it is. That's an interesting question. I mean, it has to draw the t-shirt rate down. I would think if it's doesn't if the t-shirt rate like doesn't keep up. Like, if it happens to be a pure price play, which I don't know, I don't know how that's that. But I'm thinking it's gonna happen. I think we're at some point <laughs> we're gonna see like huge X X's in like a day or a week. We're talking like fifty to hundred X in like a few days. And and it's going to cause this cascade. Instead of it being liquidations, we're going to see a cascade of end stakes that can all cash out and profit early. Right. So all of the rolling way is going to cash out basically mm, at once, and then you'd have a, like a reset moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then the, I mean, that's what we don't know how that'll play out. Is that reset moment? It's like yeah. it'll be like the point in between. I mean, it's just crazy because look at the end of this uh, June twenty thirty six share rate jumps up again, right? I mean, this is just crazy, bro. And who knows? Maybe by the time we get to twenty thirty, those tall stakes there on twenty thirty are like the norm. Those are average size stakes, then. right? That's the thing. That's all it's filled up. Thing. Yeah, it's really really hard to say. That's the thing. This is it's really hard to call this shit. It's really, really call the hard. It's really hard to call. Um, it's easy to predict right now because it's pretty much just bare bones, but when the market evolves and it's more liquid and there are more players, it's gonna be entirely different than it is now. And for all we know, the access might even be easier. So who the hell knows? Oh yeah, no doubt. Man, it's just, it's hard to call. It's hard to call. Um. <clears throat> oh, so Limon asked. Yeah, I was just thinking about this. Uh, if it can move to other chains, um, Richard has says has said numerous times it can be transplanted to numerous chains. Um. So I love yeah, talking about this. Well, yeah, yeah, I know you do. <laughs> I uh, I wish Brand. We'll save it for when Brand gets back. I want to hear his take on it. All but right, cool. cross chain, but cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll come back to that show. It's not a problem. Can we pull up that depth chart once? I just wanted to just quickly, I mean, everyone probably has seen a depth chart before, but I guess go to your Twitter. I got it on there. Somebody's going to be shocked this year. (laughs) 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 You know, graph literally just came out. Why X can't go to a dollar this year? Graph doesn't even do shit. What's wrong with people? It does. What does it do? Graph's pretty amazing. I'm going to read it from their website because it's it's an indexing platform for blockchain. So like in the future blockchains are gonna store data on them, but there needs to be a blockchain wait, that can wait, go wait, in. Wait, 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 hold up. What the fuck are they doing now? <laughs> <laughs> Am I missing something? Because I'm pretty sure they're storing data now, no? You're talking about transactions, but I'm talking more like because of all the different utility that's being built. So, like, a for example. Blockchain, hold on. A blockchain is just a data set, bro. It, it's just a database. It, it, whatever's being stored right. on it is irrelevant. It's right, but if you want to search, if you want to search the Bitcoin blockchain for a line of text, for example, you wouldn't know how to, there'd be no program that could quickly find you, like a Google search. It just has to be stored on the chain. It's just not done yet, that's all. Well, that's where that's my point is why the graph has value and where it will come in and have actual real. So, so it does. It's the Google then for for crypto. Great. Exactly. It's an exactly it. so that way you could look at like see how easy that was. Compound V two. <laughs> you can go in here and you can see. You can ask it questions and it, like you know like back when mm-hmm. Ask Jeeves was out and you could like ask Jeeves. But that was pre Google, bro. So basically, that, somebody's that, gonna come up with a better version of graph. Got it. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> moving right along yeah. uh, i mean for us and for what we're goals our goals are for getting into crypto this has no relevance what you want me to look up again oh death chart um uh, where so can i just, go i that? sent you a, i sent you a, a link it's just go to bitmax ah. it's got the best depth chart because it's so bitmax. fast and so liquid Poor guy. <laughs> and then zoom that bitch in because i want to this is like what he was talking about earlier with um like how orders how orders work on the on a market and how in 10 years why you would have no worry of being able to sell and it's because it's just a i mean people can push the price down but there's an equal and opposite force on the other side of the book that already values it at a certain price (laughs) so you can only push so far into that liquidity yeah and that's why i was explaining that um the whole why all right 
So let me maximize. Is this the right one? Nope. Let's go to bitmax, bitmax.com uh, and go. To, do you I'm see? Just, uh, right. I gotta minimize this. Yeah, minimize that. There it is. Maximize that one. So watch this thing roll, man. Just watch it for a little bit, and and you'll see. Like they'll take turns. Like sometimes the sell side will have more orders, and sometimes right. the buy side will have more orders, and they're fighting over a price point right now. They're and fighting over the forty-eight thousand forty-two dollar price point on BTC. So you see that's so that's sellers jumping in here and, and putting up a huge wall saying we're not letting you go any higher than yeah. this price. Man, this a lot. If, so if you see it, if you see it start to eat into that into the green orders, the price will go down. Mm -hmm. They're trying to it's, keep it up. They're, they're trying to keep it uh, down or below fifty for sure. Yeah, no doubt. There, this is the now. Look at those buyers just came in and pushed price up. It went up ten bucks. Wow. So dude, and, and those guys are there. There, trust me. There's people ready to ready to go to buy. <laughs> people that we're in the we're only in the be be like the intro stage of phase two of the bull run. So yeah. it's. Things are going to get a lot more nutty between now and, and 150k. It's, per it's funny because for a while I was so bullish and then all of these people just got me bearish, man. Like I just, anytime there's a lot of people around, I just automatically go the other way. So, you know, you could be right. Like I said before, we could see. I mean, look at this. She saw the liquidity back. just deflated out of nowhere and now all of a sudden it just appears back again at 48 okay, now the sell so now the the green guy the buyers push price up another 30 bucks yeah. to, to forty eight thousand fifty six, and then the sellers come put up a wall saying we're not gonna let you go any higher so crazy interesting to watch no doubt so anyway that's enough of that but that's how you know and <laughs> I, mean, I can years, watch like, this shit all night this is what i'm using. it's it's fascinating i love i love watching the depth chart so then, I, the other thing I wanted you to look up was we'll, we'll compare the graphs chart and hexes chart to kind of give us an idea of what hexes next big impulsive move could be and how high it could go. Kick Just myself based on what the graph did. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> well, and you know, Lee Moen actually mentioned in the comments like, I don't think hex could go to a dollar this year. And at the end of the day, it's all speculation, right? But here's the thing: you gotta. You got to look at what something's done in the past to be able to even right. speculate what it might be able to do in the future. And people like yourself, Wales, you know, uh, I don't care what people say, you know, uh, you provide a whole bunch of value and you have like blown my mind on a couple of different things that the actual function of a square and just the math behind it, uh, the way that it works is very similar to Bitcoin. But then you got to realize Hex doesn't have the attack services that, you know, that Bitcoin does or does. did, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's very and that's very key, right? Because what that comes with is that it comes with increase, like it, everything just happens faster, right? Because you don't have the growing pains that Bitcoin did, and that's what people don't understand. So you know, could Hex not see ten dollars this year? Yeah, sure. Is it gonna see a dollar? Yeah, it is. Is it gonna see ten dollars next year? Guaranteed guarantee to your money back i mean that's just a no-brainer because that's just and how I, the network effect goes can know? i say that those are all possible and but I, i'm going to make a very clear distinction quickly and that is that speculation in hex doesn't make sense because this value of the system is already rooted in the code mm -hmm. so like you can only guess or speculate on price but you cannot speculate on value whereas Right. Bitcoin's value is totally speculative because there's no value proposition. You're not earning more Bitcoin. Well, the value proposition to Hex is that the system prints more inflation by rewarding positive behaviors and punishing negative ones. Yep, pretty sure. And those so. negative decisions lead to positive externalities on the users of the system. So, like, it's just a, it's this thing has never existed before. Like, there, there's nothing like it. On I mean, Earth. look at this. This, this, this is. I mean, is this even accurate? This is like this should just hit. <laughs> is this accurate? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it did come out just in December. Okay, well, why the fuck hex can't hit ten dollars this year? I don't understand. If one inch and in this can zoom up, why can't hex go to ten dollars? I don't understand. Hex has an actual resolution it, like it actually solves like an actual problem like a yeah, world 100%. like a worldwide problem right like you know what i'm saying brand like it solves like an actual problem mm -hmm. so i'm trying to understand why hex cannot go to ten dollars the only thing that has to happen is that people have to find out it exists and that it's real 
That's mm-hmm. it. It's not that hard. That's why those tweets that just have a picture of people's portfolio and then it says it works or just that's all you need to say. <laughs> it's like it works. By the way, I got 6,500 T-shirts and it works. I'm raking in like a G a day or I don't know, whatever. All right. I mean, yeah. it's ridiculous, man. It's Richard ridiculous. mentions that you don't have to like know how like TCP, uh, TC, P, uh, IP yeah, works. IP protocol works to, to use the internet, right? Same thing with like. Uh, as far as crypto mad gains, right? Just price price go up. You know, it does so securely. I mean, uh, look, I've yeah. It's like even with the uni air drop of like, I don't know, X amount of months ago, uh, instead of like I already had like enough gains from like hex and whatnot that I just created a whole bunch of wallets for like my family members and girlfriend too. And uh, and then instead of me like just yapping their, ear, their ears off about like how cool hex is, I can show them, right? You know, you got mm-hmm. staker app got their their wallet that I created for them with their own seed phrase and then they can see like oh I don't even have to understand T shares any of that. I can just see that hey I'm earning interest trustlessly daily and I can see that a year from now it's higher than it was the year before. Smarter guy. That's why they pay you the big bucks, baby. <laughs> don't don't ask them. Just show them. And it's true. Yep. It's true. And that's the whole point, right? It's like, well you see this chart I just showed you. This really doesn't add value. I'm sorry. It doesn't. It's a cool project. It may have some use in the future. At this point in time, it provides zero value because anything we have to search on any chain is searchable. Right? Right. So, again. It's a pump and dump until it's not. But the chart pattern is relevant. for Right. And that's my whole point. That's my whole point. That's my whole point. I'm not, I'm not saying anything other than that. Right. It's all about the fractals again, because this is a natural evolutionary process. It's not about it's really not about anything else. Right. Because people are seeing the value in the future use case of graph. They're not understanding that the use case of graph is entirely irrelevant today. And that's a fact. Right. 100 percent. The value for hex is relevant Last no. fucking yeah, century. Right. Last century. Right. No, right. it's well, twenty. It's twenty twenty one. Literally, we've been trying to solve the money problem for yeah, a like hundred fucking years, years so. if not longer. <laughs> yeah. So last fucking century. Okay. People need to understand that. Like again, I'm here to kick the facts. <laughs> so it's only a matter of when, not a matter of if. Everybody's gonna have hundred dollars per coin, if not more. It's coming. Because, again, the facts are the facts. People can talk all the crap they want. Fact of the matter is you cannot get more. I mean, let me show you guys a couple of tweets I sent this morning. Only because I was just like, you know what? I feel creative out of nowhere. Let me do some cool shit. And I did it. That's cool, bro. I'll be right back because this is just, I mean, people just don't get it, man. It's, It's simple math. It has nothing to do with anything that I care or feel about anything. Literally, it has nothing to do with me. It's simple mathematics, and the simple math is going to present itself shortly. Please bear with me because I just don't understand why people make this so hard. It is so easy. The only thing keeping Hex down is time. (laughs) That's it. Because it's, it's brand new. And people have to understand it's not that widespread yet. It's brand new. Get it? And, yeah. And it, and it doesn't have the fucking cheerleading squad that every other coin has. So, of course, it's going to take longer for things to happen in our ecosystem. It's only natural. But let me just show you guys some really relevant information. And let me just go into my damn uh, tweets because this is taking too long. Give me a second. Almost there. <clears throat> yes, here we go. Copy link to this tweet. Now, I made this this morning because I was feeling giddy. Now, this is the year 2021. And I asked the question why is Hex Superior? And then I state this below is what Wall Street had to offer you in 2021. Oh, my God. Here we go. (laughs) That's high yield savings accounts. That's high (laughs) yield savings accounts for 2021. 
Um, we have no, Varro, a Varro. This is just, this well, is not, dude. And I have, the source, <laughs> I have the source down below, so you can fact check me, of course. Uh, Sally Mae, a fluffy 55 to 80 basis points, which is less than 1%. Um, Varro, oh my God, they're blowing out the competition with a max of 2.8% with a low end of 40 basis points, which is less than 1%. Um, some random place called Consumers Credit Union Smart Saver account up to 1% and a half, 1.5%, quite amazing. I tell you, in today's age. And they're balling out over there. Oh, they're crazy. With a minimum deposit requirement of $5, folks. Only $5. It's a beautiful day. Um, and then you have Axel's Bank High Yield Savings Account. Check this out. Minimum deposit required of $250. And this booming yield comes at the high clip of <laughs> one basis point. <laughs> I mean, fuck. You get more than that in Hex every fucking day if you got That's one T-shirt. I mean, this dude, is if insane. You, if you literally have to go to work and try to sell this shit to people, you probably just roll in your, in your own mind. It's like you got to just be like cringing every day. <laughs> I, know, I want somebody else to tell me this shit can't go to $10 in 2021. Seriously. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Where can people find this? They're asking, is it on your Twitter? Or I got like the link. Oh, yeah, it's on my Twitter. But I got the link to the article right down here. But, like, actually, I guess we can just screenshot this and, and uh, just screenshot I'll it put and the link. I'll put the link um in the description, and I'll put it in the chat, matter of fact. Not a problem. I guess I, I got to the photo, but, but yeah. I, oh, I the, photo is in, the photo is in the tweet. The photo's okay. in the tweet. Oh, okay, cool. I missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The photo's in the tweet. Got to get it somewhere, baby. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's what Marco was asking, so I had to ask. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get it to you guys. Give me a second. I'm just getting to the video. Um, Let me go view on YouTube. All right. I'm just trying to get to the chat. So that's for 2021. I did two. That's for 2021. And this is for 2020. Um, and I'll show that one shortly. I mean, this is just sad. And I guess you guys just don't know this. Um, but yeah, this is like the fucking standard, guys. Cool. And and keep in mind, this is not a guarantee. You have to get approved to get a bank account. Or to get an account of any type. It's not a guarantee you're going to get one. Also, keep that in mind. So, it's a lot of benefits that decentralized finance brings to the table. And Hex is just the only decentralized finance product. So this is literally one plus one is two. It does not get any more simpler than this. Seriously. In 2020, <clears throat> the best high yield savings account of 2020. 2020, Varro, once again, 1.2 through 2.8% APY. Blowing away the competition. My savings from nationwide by Axos. Once again, a booming 1.05% APY. Ally online savings. Wow. A whopping 0.8%. Marcus by Goldman Sachs with the equivalent APY of 0.8%. And, and as I just stated, and as you can see here, what to do if you don't qualify for a high yield savings account. Go fuck yourself. That's what you can do. <laughs> Links are below. Or you can just go buy some Hex. A whole lot easier. And your life is significantly better. Mm -hmm. I mean, I that. this is just what's going on, right? And this is what I'm trying to explain. And I mean, I guess because people are clearly not looking at a bank for anything, which I don't blame you, you know, at all, right? You wouldn't know this. So I completely get it. But because I work in finance and I pay attention to this nonsense, I just don't fucking believe it, right? Because who in their right mind would would put any money in this? Only a moron. And the keep in mind, yeah. 
Yeah. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. The yield you're getting doesn't uh, pace with the actual inflation that they're printing the dollar at. So it's like, oh my you know, god, my, my grandparents gave me like a fifteen. Me and my three older brothers, uh, for Christmas and our birthdays, uh, like a fifteen year savings bond that we mm-hmm. prefer from like twenty five to fifty. But the thing <laughs> that you know people don't realize is, is yeah, you know, the dollar's being devalued by the time it hits fifty. You know, hundred percent later. So hundred percent, brother. I mean. You know, look, as What's a the penalty, person, Gary, if you could you access that now and just I mean, even if you lost 80 percent of it, you, you put forget. the 20 percent in a hex, it would outperform the saving. Oh, yeah. 100 <laughs> percent. And, and two months, exactly. <laughs> like two months. That's crazy to think about. And you guys are wondering where the value proposition is. Yeah. And this is what I'm trying to explain to people. There is 100 percent factual reasons this can go to 100 dollars in two years. If not in one year, I mean, this is serious, guys. You have to understand this is not a game. And you have to also understand that Hex actually goes up in value, right? It doesn't just, it's not a a static thing where you just put money away and you get some yield. No, you put money away, you lock it up. Not only do you get yield, but the price of your money will go up in value because that's how it works. Right, it's a crypto, so that's how it works. I mean, this shit is crazy, right? And I and I'm just shocked that people just really don't know this. But I'm clearly gonna have to go from the bottom to the top, literally. I mean, it's like the more videos I do, the more I realize I have to go even further back. This is crazy, 100%. but this is great. But this You're is refining great. this process, and it's gonna help a lot right. of people out. And it's needed. Exactly. We need this. Exactly. 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 Everybody needs this, and that's the whole point. People wonder, um, like, what's the use case of crypto? And it's like, well... With I'm going to give you out a use can, case. <laughs> yeah, like with Bitcoin, you can buy it and sell it. With Hex, it, it pays you to hold it. It pays you to uh, access the live mentions, like, you know, the to hold the price up to, it, to it, stake it, and all that. I mean, check this out. Brand, did you go to college at all? Yeah, I did a couple years of running start. Okay, but, did you do any finance classes by any chance? Just curious. Maybe like a 101, but... That's perfect. That's so. all you need. Access, what about yourself? Yes or no? Uh, I'm a graduate. Okay. And I did not take any finance classes. Okay, Everything okay. that I know about finance is self-taught. Okay, perfect. perfect. And, you know, and that interest, by the way, this is a good point. I'll just quick to... Yeah, no, go ahead. Anybody that anybody that found Bitcoin found finance. Like It's like... Um, mm-hmm. You start small and then you get red pilled or orange pilled into, into the world of Bitcoin. But that really what that does is it it solves social, political, economic, scientific, computing, like all these breakthroughs at once because it's a uh, the block the uh, Bitcoin blockchain system as a whole did something that nothing else did in it. It it made no middlemen. It it was it was immutable, fungible. You know all these different properties that are all in one decentralized system. Like what it does to the human mind is even interesting. Like when you start thinking about it, and it opens you up. You thought you want like a, the funny thing is like it looks like a scam, <laughs> and it walks and talks like a scam, but people get rich on it. So that's like right. that's the defining factor that makes something not a scam. <laughs> Right. And Man, I'm starting story. to wonder what if we, if our definition of a scam is even, is even proper. Right. right. <laughs> exactly. Is this shit even right? What the hell is going on here? Well, and it's it's crazy. So many people like they they like even Bitcoiners are like, I can't comprehend why there would be an origin address and you know all the money's going to Richard, which which no one knows any of any of those actual fine details. But the thing is, is I've always uh, related like. The origin address, like Satoshi, like Satoshi pre-mined the fuck out of Bitcoin and had like a million coins even still. And, and they used to always speculate like, you know, he could come back in any time and like dump it on the market. And it's like, well, why would the actual, you know, founder of the project or product, you know, do such a thing? Brand, it's, just, hold on. it's not logical. <laughs> Brandon, saying you got to turn up your audio. <laughs> I'm sorry, T-Dog. <laughs> But he's, he's been saying it for a couple minutes. He's been saying it for a hot minute now. So I'll see if it's you can fix it. Is that 200%? I, uh, is that it? All right. Well, if that's it, that's it, bro. I mean, maybe it's your audio, T-Dog. I'm sorry, man. I don't know. I mean, I hear you fine. So that's why I never said anything. Carry on, brother. Sorry. Oh, that's pretty much all I was saying is is uh, these things, they, they stand the test of time, right? And Hex has already had the 100% uptime and 
the, the longer that it stands the time in history and the longer that its immutable contract code uh, doesn't get uh, hacked like all these other cryptocurrencies do, you know, it's got the locked consensus code and it doesn't have the vulnerabilities and tax surfaces that not only these other DeFi projects have, but even Bitcoin has. So it's like, it's kind of that one to rule them all, really. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Oh man, the chat is fucking funny. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> like saying with your chest, Brand. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I'll fuck this shit out. <laughs> Apparently some folks hear you low, but that's pretty funny. Cause I, I hear you fine. I mean you sound like maybe you're a little far away, but you hear fine. I don't know, I don't know. I hear you fine. Um <laughs> I've got a better mic in though. my house. I'll uh I'll That's cool, bro. Yeah, you're good, you're good, man. You're good, you're good, you're good, man. You do what you gotta do. Don't worry about it. I hear you fine. I hear you fine. So don't worry about it. That, that's but awesome, but but this is the thing though, right? Like it's like you say, people now understand that this is real to a degree. Now it's important to remember that we're still very early on. Right? We're very, very early on. Some people still think this is really a scam. <laughs> <laughs> Some people really think this is still a scam, dude, if you can believe that. 15, I mean, what, what is this? 12 years later, people still think Bitcoin is a scam. Some people that are Bitcoin maxis still call Ethereum a scam. And people that are Ethereum maxis are calling Hex a scam. And then Bitcoin Max is also calling Hex a scam. I mean, it's a never-ending perpetual cycle of scams that are not scams that make people rich, clearly. Totally. It's exactly. a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, man. Too funny, man. I mean, this shit is just great, dude, because it's like, come on. So let's uh, let's get back to uh, the charts, right? Um, <clears throat> let's just go to the charts real quick. So we talked about the T-shirt, Ethereum, and T-shirt of Bitcoin charts. And their percentage values and why it matters there. It's just about uh, growing, really. Um, and I think over time, we're just going to, like we did with price, just keep on setting floors and just keep progressing because of the T-shares because that's just what they do. Um, and the system paid out today. I mean, we had a nice little bump in the yield. We had an increase in the T-shares. Let's go, right? boys and girls. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Daily payout is up. I mean, everything is up. It's a good day. And as you can see in the in the in the shorter version chart, thanks to Kareem. Shout out to him. I made a little shorter term chart so we can all get a nice little zoomed in view of what's going on with the pockets. And uh, this is what's going on. So I mean, you got to think that the increased T shares is why price maybe went sideways a day. Um, because what that means is somebody didn't restake. Right, that, that that has to be what it means to a degree, because um, there's more T shares now than there were previous day, but it's okay because our payout went up, our payout per T share went up, and that's really all we care about. Um, so we're gonna keep it moving, and uh, as you guys can see, 133 thousand percent of you've been staked from day one. I mean, this is just amazing. This is really amazing, man. It's amazing, dude. You cheated on that number. There, there's no way that's real. Joe, let me, let me, I got to pull up the fucking spreadsheet. <laughs> I got to pull up the fucking spreadsheet now. I got to trust you. I'm just fucking with you. No, oh, no, no. Go. I got to show you. It's real. Yo, it's you real. guys, it's actually backed by math. He's not just full of shit. Yeah, yeah I'm not full of shit. I'm doing the <laughs> fucking math here, man. I'm not full of shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, daily payout. So it's in the interest tab. And now you guys are seeing how the sauce is made. Uh... Payout per T-share, right? These are all the payouts per T-shares every single day. Today's wow. latest, okay? This is the returns relative, right? So I'm doing the relative return day over day. And I'm literally compounding the numbers. So this is real, right? Like, I'm literally you doing better it. better hide that before somebody steals it. <laughs> I'm literally doing it every day, dude. <laughs> literally doing it every day it's real it's real you know it's funny on on wall street they'll uh share spreadsheets and they'll fucking uh 
hard code everything. Like if that shit really changes anything, like if you can't reverse engineer the number, it's so stupid. But whatever. <laughs> anyway, but who's got the private uh, key? Well, you know right. What I'm saying? Yeah, it's no <laughs> private key. That's the thing. When it's just a straight formula, there's no private key for that. You fool. But whatever. <laughs> What are you gonna tell these people? They think they're smart, but it's okay. They'll figure it out. You should you should say something like that sometimes. Like who's? I mean, obviously it's your boss, right? <laughs> nah, nah, boss. nah. It's not. It's not. It won't be like my boss. It'll just be like some other d- team, company, whatever. Right? Like the firms are just share information. Like if you really can't reverse engineering, it's like, come on, man, really? That's we what all gives do. X value is that there is no middleman. Oh yeah. It's yeah. it's just law, and everyone has to abide by the same rule set. Awesome. It is. It is impartial. It is fair. It is beautiful. Mm-hmm. But as you can see, these numbers are real. As crazy as they are, they're fucking crazy, man. You know, as the as people forget to end their stakes and and other bonuses are added to this, like you're gonna see a continuation, an upward movement oh, in the man. daily payout. I, I can't wait, especially if these gas fees stay fucking crazy high. You no, know, because based rain. on the pr- principle of just. <laughs> The three point six nine over every year. That mm-hmm. so at that the end alone. of the year you're gonna add like what a hundred billion coins. Yo, that alone. I'm gonna no, show you guys, many, dude. How many I coins can't do we wait. get? I can't wait to get to this Excel. Bro, bro just how many wait. coins do we get at the end of the year? I want to know because I want to know how there, much bro. that three point six nine percent is. I gotta there, know, man. I gotta know how many I need to, to, to compete. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys already know the return for Hex today is 57,807 uh, percent, or 5,787 percent. Uh, yeah, I said that right. Uh, 538 percent return. That's what the system has done in terms of your payout. You started with one, and now you're at five. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And then the payout sum, you've received a total of 1,400 and 70 hex per t share all time Dude, amazing. i got like 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 synapses in my brain are just exploding right now like amazing per t share i'm thinking guys. about like what your t shares are going to look like in 10 years like how oh, much they're that's what i'm saying yo. it's going to be like edit. vertical like if you look at it on a linear chart <laughs> it's just going to be like vertical for you at some point yo look i've only been in hex since like this little uh, since like right here, since like it was at six, so like right here is like when I got in hex. And look at where this thing was at, it was paying you, it was at like 800 hex in terms of the sum that was paid out to people 800 a thousand, and only 90 days later, it's already up 40 plus percent. Man, that's not normal. That's not normal, dude. Per T share. Bro, but we all want to know when does the growth stop, bro? <laughs> Never. Not anytime soon. Right? Like, you got to think about it. The quantity of people that is required, like, the quantity that's required to, like, so let me put it like this. There's 620 billion current coins right now. 10% of that is locked up, reducing the supply to 587 billion, whatever the number is, right? So basically, in order for our APY to go down in half, I think the rate has to be, I think the lock has to be like 20, 30%. I mean, that's a high number. We're only at 10%. Can you guys imagine how high price would be for that to be 20%? That's crazy. Mm. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, the numbers don't lie. I mean, that's, Yo, that's the cool thing about I that. mean, I got this. I got. Hold on. Let me see if I got. I got this picture. Let me see if I got it. Uh, save. I hope I do. Uh, like in hex, you get that airdrop every single day. You every know, single you day, know, baby. Yeah, the one inch airdrop or you. I don't need no one inch airdrop. I got all these tech <laughs> airdrops every day. Yeah, exactly, like every single day, man. That in, you know, it's done so trustlessly. Boom. You know what to expect. I wonder who created this. Shout out to whoever created this. I hope you're watching my stream. I salute you because this is a great Probably chart. Ripper. I don't know, but whoever did it, you're the best. Thank you, because I love this chart. This is great. Right now, we are. Where's my little uh? Edit. 
Oh, come on. I can't write on this. Mm. I think if you right click it and type and do click edit, edit with. Draw. Yeah, there we go. Good job. Why oh, is that the eraser? Yeah, fuckers. <laughs> right. let's see what you, let's see your artistic skills here. all right yeah now my artistic skills don't exist with the mouse so we're basically here oh shit this ain't got no kind of transparency <laughs> this is funny all right get out of here all right all right so we're basically here Right, we're in between there because today we're at 38%. So we're right in between there. And the reason we're in between there is because the T-shares went up. So the payout went up. Wait, is that right? I feel like that's not right. There's more. There's oh, no, more we had that penalty. Staking, it, was that right? penalty. it was that penalty. It was that penalty. It was that penalty. It was that penalty. That's oh, why that pushed, that pushed you. Remember, that was, that, that was like $85,000. Yeah. Like Four though. million or two million coins. I can't remember. Was it 4.4 .4 million or two million? It was a couple of million. I remember that. I remember the number being 85000 So somebody nuked their entire account is what we're referring to today. Yeah. I'll get a tweet. It's crazy. But we're right here. <clears throat> and... That translates into this down here, right? So basically, this is 20%. That's 50%, right? So the less people that are staked, the higher the rate of return, right? The more people that are staked, the lower the yield. And the max, which is here, is 3.69, as is outlined here, all right? So what that means is in order for us to get to here, look at what has to happen. That's basically a 50% move in the stake pool alone. It has to drop from 36 APY to 18% APY. So that's, that's a hell of a move in price, right? That's at least half at least 100% moving price from here, assuming all of that gets staked. Heck yeah. Um, all right, so this, I, is I just, this is just staking. Cool. This is just staking, actually. Let me rephrase, I'm saying that wrong. This is just staking because staking isn't actually a reflection of price, right? People could be holding coins and just not be staked. Yeah, those people are getting diluted by the people that, that are, uh, it, it's like a win-win situation where, you know, the people that uh, are holding liquid, they, you know, they're at mercy to sell whenever they want. That's fine. But their value is also going up by the people that are staking. But the people that are staking, you know, the, the reason it behooves them also is because they're just getting value, but in the future. Right. Um, but, but I, uh, I'm probably going to call it a night, guys, and go hang out with the Mamacita for a little Short bit. Sure thing, brother. Have a good uh, one, man. Enjoy. Hey, Senior Axis and uh, Wales, we'll, we'll do it soon again. Yes, sir, man. man. Dude, thank you for jumping on here. It was good yeah. to have Look forward to your stream on Sunday, brother. Well, yeah. are you streaming tomorrow? Well, I'm going to do one tomorrow with this okay. other guy uh, named uh, Mark. Uh, he goes cool. by, like, Murky Hex and then... Ah, like, yes, Sunday yes, I'll... yes. Shout out to him. I know him. I know him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, actually, also tomorrow I got... Uh, this we're doing this like spy <laughs> this like one chip challenge have you guys heard of that like this yeah challenge? good luck with Dude, that I man I, I can't mess with that like i love my spicy yeah, food yeah. but i like to taste my spicy food <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be one i i you know i uh, did it did it to uh kind of join the team but uh we're, we're gonna do it i got some stuff here that uh you know at least be fun for the reaction so right we'll do that and then uh Chill with another hexagon tomorrow. So thanks again for the invite, and we'll uh, of course, we'll brother. Anytime. Well, Love, have a good man. one, thanks. man. Enjoy. Peace, thanks.